Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Scorpio for the week starting the 15th of July. And what a powerful astrological week we have. On the 15th, we have a cardinal grand cross, a kite, a grand water trine again, and a T-square. Oh yeah, it's going to be full on. All your emotions are stirred up. And the universe is saying to you, if you do not go in the direction of your dreams or where you know you should go, it may give you a little push or even a big push in that direction. It's time to keep it real for yourself. It's time to open up to what you know because your intuition is really strongly featured in this big astrological event. And now, of course, you've got to work out what's paranoia and what is your intuition. But really, when your intuition explodes, it's very, very clear. So write it down, write down your dreams, open up to what the universe is shouting at you. It's very important. You are divine, you are beautiful, you are charismatic, you are all powerful. But sometimes you don't act when you need to act. You wait. And the universe is saying, this is a week of action. You have the ability also to really think about where you want to go in terms of your body and your mind. There may be a part of you that's decided that you want to get fit or eat well. And actually, by doing that, what you consume, not only what you consume in terms of your food, what you consume on the TV, what you consume in the newspapers, everything goes into you and affects your vibration. And there's a part of you that really gets that this week and goes, do you know what? I'm going to be very clear when I make these big decisions that are coming up for me. The Grand Water Trine is trying to be helpful and is quite positive and wants you to have an adventure and wants you to just open up to that next level of learning, that next level of your personal truth. And not, in fact, you know what? You're not going to be able to ignore some of the things that you need to change. It's, it's just there. You know, we All of us, uh, believe me, me, have patterns of behavior or thoughts or patterns that we're aware of are not that healthy for us, but sometimes we don't, you know, we, we could ignore it quite happily for a long time. And then one day we have to go, I've got to change this. And, and it's that kind of week for you. But I think it's a great thing because the kite is going to show you that when you take responsibility for yourself, when you really put that passion that you can put into other people, into yourself, you are capable of literally anything. You are one of the most, if not the most powerful sign that there is. And when you turn that for a force for good for yourself, anything can happen. Great magic could occur. Uranus is reminding you of patterns from the past, asking you to look back at times when you had different patterns and when you changed them, how much it benefited you. You may be reminded by someone or something from the past popping up to give you that lesson. Uh, the good news is Mercury is going direct and someone may offer you an adventure of some sort. And Mars is conjunct Jupiter. It's travel, it's adventure, it's learning, it's being a teacher, it's being a guru, it's allowing you, yourself, to blossom and shine and glow with all of your marvellous power. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.